gather tools and supplies. See the video caption for an extensive list of tools used in this project. Prep project area, remove electrical outlet face plates, window blinds and baseboards, as well as all other impediments to installing your thin brick. Cover your floor with a protective sheeting. It usually gets pretty messy. Measure your project area. Measure the corner section of the project to calculate the linear feet height. Measure the rest of the wall to calculate the square footage. Height times width. Measuring will allow you to not just know how much brick you need, but it will help in mapping out where you want to start and where you need to cut your bricks. Mix your old mill adhesive. We recommend using a drill and mixing paddle. If you don't have either, Home Depot and Lowe's have them to rent or purchase. When mixing, start with small quantities, adding more mortar or water when necessary. You want the consistency similar to a creamy peanut butter. Trowel the adhesive. Using a 3 8 notched trowel, spread your adhesive onto the surface you are starting with. You want to use the flat side of the trowel to smooth on the adhesive. Then use the notched side to get vertical lines running through the mixture. Adhere your bricks. When you are ready to install your bricks, we'd recommend starting with the corner section of your project. For this project, we started at the top of the wall based on our measurements. Remember, all projects are different. Start where you feel most comfortable based on your plans and measurements. If you notice any bricks or brick web sheets starting to slip, you can easily hammer in a finished nail underneath to keep it in place. The nails remove easily once the adhesive has dried. When the corners are in place, start installing your brick web sheets. They should fit easily with the corners. We recommend running the trowel in between the bricks, allowing the mesh to push further into the adhesive. This allows your sheets to stick better to the surface. Again, place a finish nail if you see any sheets starting to slip or slide. Every so often, but especially on the beginning sheets, use a level to make sure you get straight lines. Cut sheets or bricks when necessary. Measure out the space where the cut sheets need to be, then use a measuring tape to mark those lines on the bricks. Cut the bricks using either a wet tile saw or angle grinder. For this project, we used an angle grinder. Always wear proper safety gear when operating dangerous equipment. Make sure to cut all the way down to the mesh. This gives you a smooth, finished cut. Place your cut sheets where needed. Cutting brick to fit around electrical outlets can be tricky. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure the faceplate covers your cut bricks. Brick all the way down to the floor. When finished with your project, you can choose either to put the baseboard back on or keep it off. For this project, like most interior brick projects, we kept the baseboard removed. Mix the mortar. After waiting a full 24 hours, you are ready to grout. Mix your grout, again, try to get it as close to peanut butter consistency as possible. Too runny, and it won't stick to the wall. Too dry, and it will be impossible to squeeze through the grout bag. Using a grout bag, pipe the mortar into the brick joints. Tool the mortar. After waiting about five minutes or until the mortar is a little firmer, use a brick jointer to get that traditional concave style. Only grout small sections at a time until you feel more comfortable. Once finished, lightly brush the excess mortar from the brick. The mortar should flake off the wall. If it smears, give it more time to dry.